Hey guys, Jack here and welcome back. And obviously with no Premier League or really much football going on, I kind of want to do a bit more free-flowing content. So I want to talk about probably one of my favorite players in the Premier League in the last, I would say, seven or eight years. And it all started out back in, I would say, 2013-2014, when a small German club... I got promoted to the Bundesliga and it was a courtesy of one of their younger players at the time. A 23 year old I believe who went by the name of Pascal Gross and so and if you're and if you're aware he came from English that I think spent a couple of seasons in the Bundesliga before moving to Brighton as they got promoted to the Premier League for about I think three million pounds and what a bargain that was at the time. So I just kind of want to go through why I love this player and why I kind of developed this kind of weird fantasy or fascination for him. There wasn't a lot of uh, flashiness to his game if, if he didn't need to. And I felt like that kind of summed him up really throughout his entire you know time with Brighton. And since he's been at the club, he's been integral to their system. And even under different managers, so we had Chris Hutton, Graham Potter, uh, De Zerbi, they, he has been able to adapt to their different systems. Obviously under Chris Hutton, they were a bit more defensive looking to secure their, their spot in the Premier League. But when Graham Potter came in and started to implement his ideologies of more possession based, being a bit more on the ball, he like that suited his game a lot more. And he, while his contributions went down, it was more down because he, his his positioning was changing. Because back in the first season, he kind of played a 4-4-2, 4-2-3-1, very defensively minded. That kind of shifted from being maybe a second forward or attacking midfielder, being dropped back into either, either wing backs. And we saw that, especially in the last couple of seasons under Potter, that he his contributions went down, but his effectiveness on the wing back role was really good because reasonably two-footed but more predominantly right-footed was able to cut in play intricate passes and good movement with either overlapping fullback or with the winger and we saw how in this this previous season that especially under De Zerbi, he's really come on a bit more and his versatility has been key to that and one crucial aspect of his game that i don't think a lot of people recognize is his stamina he, despite being 32 years of age at the moment, he seems to have an engine for days. And this has been credit to him throughout his entire Brighton career. He never seemed to be out with injury. His fitness is incredible. And as a result of his, of his ability and his longevity as well, that this season has been his best in terms of goal contributions with nine goals, eight assists. And I'm going to put up a graphic up to here of his stats for the seat of his stats for the season like it's incredible he ranks in the top percentiles not only as a midfielder in europe but also as a fullback and that just shows how not only his versatility has helped him but also how he has kind of shown that even you know even though time is moving on that he is still alongside lewis dunk that he has stayed with the side and he's evolved and I just wanted to say this because he feel like he deserves to have been recognized more for from Germany. He has had the most goal contributions since moving, sorry, since uh, English staff when he got promoted with them from the five Bundesliga. And he's only had two under 20 caps for the German national team. And considering that they, I wouldn't say they have really many creators. And I know he's not a key creator, but his ability on the ball it's kind of gone unrecognized now where Joaquin Lowe was the manager and then uh, Hansi Flick. But I would have thought a Premier League, you know, Premier League uh, midfielder would have a lot more influence in terms of these kind of decisions. I was surprised, you know, that he hasn't got more recognition and I just want to kind of go on this and voice my kind of praise for him. I wanted to point him out because while Brighton fans are clearly like really pleased with him and his service as their captain I think at this day you know their vice captain behind Lewis Dunk 
I think a lot of the a lot of the footballing world, like like from what I've seen anyway, don't recognize his contribution to the side. And while we've seen the likes of Caicedo, who's been really flashy, uh, in CISO, Sally March has come into it this season. Uh, Evan Ferguson, like a lot of talented players, it's like Pascal Gross has been part of the team, part of the team since they've come up, and I think once he decides to leave, that he'll go down as a legend. And especially when they're going into Europe next season, I'm really looking forward to seeing how he gets on against European competition in Europa League. It'll be his first time playing in Europe, and I'm really looking forward to seeing that for him, and especially for Brighton. He has he signed a deal. At the, you know, I think a couple of months ago to bring him to 2024. And I think as long as his legs hold out, because he never relied on pace, but his stamina has been key. And I think if he manages to maintain that for the rest, you know, for another year, what's well, not to say that he'll stay back, you know, he'd stay another year. I mean, we could have a Milner-esque, uh, you know, kind of longevity to, with the side you know, during their successes and I'm aware Milner's joining Brighton. So having those two kind of maybe exchanging notes would be good for, would be good for the team. And yeah, I'm looking forward to how he gets on. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I really wanted to make this because I was talking to a family member about uh fantasy football and he was one of the first players I kinda of looked at the stats from in you know years ago and thought he would make a make a dent in the Premier League and I'm really pleased for once if you've seen my previous videos that a prediction finally came through about well player anyway and I want to give credit to Football Daily because I think it was Patrick Van Stratton who was uh who had that uh who had that prediction that you know that he looked at the stats and said he'd be he was a great signing and he was not wrong so I'll link Football Daily down down in the description but thank you very much for watching until next time take care